Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal and in today's video we're going to take a look at cleaning different types of metalware and should you clean antiques. There's certain things you should clean, there's certain things you shouldn't and I'm going to have a go at this one. Stay tuned, let's see the results. Okay, just quickly before we get going guys, if you love antiques, collectibles, you're in the reseller business, then don't forget to subscribe because my channel's all about how-to videos. I go out buying antiques and I show you what everything's worth and how to identify it. So state your claim guys, make sure you subscribe. If the videos help you and you like them, I would really appreciate a like and a share to help me keep creating videos. Let's get to it. Okay, before I start, I want to give a massive, massive shout out to somebody. Sorry about that. Right, I come home um, one day in the week and there was a parcel. Now, it's not unexpected, it's coming up to Christmas and I'm having parcels come from everywhere when I'm ordering online for Christmas for the children. And I opened up uh, one of the parcels and inside it was this book. Late the Chinese Bronzes by Ross Kerr. Now I thought, well that's strange, I haven't ordered a book. And I had a little flick through and it's a lovely book. And I'm looking forward to reading it. So then I get to a little letter that accompanied it. And it's from a lovely person named Ian Muscat. Which basically reads, Dear Walter, I watch your videos on YouTube. I came across this book whilst out foraging. Foraging. And thought you might like it. Yours sincerely, Ian. It is details there and I thought that was absolutely lovely really really nice gesture of uh, of him what can I say thank you very very much I do appreciate that it was unexpected and I will look forward to reading it moving on um, I know my videos have been a little slow at the moment but those of you who follow me know we are literally a few weeks away from expecting um, our daughter to arrive. Um, we've got Christmas on the way. I'm up to my eyeballs with everything, so the videos are going to be slow and not that regular for the next month or two. Nothing I can do about it, guys. You'll just have to bear with me. I am sorry. So, moving on to today's video. Should you clean metalware? Now, I can already tell you, anything that's silver or silver plate, people like it clean. That's my experience. Not everybody's the same, but in my experience, if it's silver or silver plate, I clean it. Be very careful with silver plate that you don't rub the silver off. If it comes to coins, I don't touch them. People do not want coins cleaned. You clean a coin, you've ruined it. So there's already comparisons there. Now, you don't touch bronze. Yeah, if you, if you clean a bronze, you take all the patina, the age away, and you devalue it. If you're unsure of what to clean and what not to clean or you know what you should be and what shouldn't be cleaning then I suggest you don't clean it that's the best way to be now brass and copper my opinion is I don't clean them I don't like them clean however there are a lot of people that do like them shiny and sparkly and beautiful and clean so I've done a few experiments I've cleaned some pieces and I haven't cleaned others and so far it's been sort of in the middle now I've got a piece here that I have had in the window it's a, a nice solid brass hammered um, scuttle or bucket now it's been in my window display for well, probably two months now uh, at 25 pound and it haven't sold so today I am going to clean it up using a simple brass or wadding now I don't use the silver or wadding on silver because it does I find it does take some of the silver off and it'll wear the hallmarks away. So I use a foam, a silver Goddard's foam for my silver. But for the brass, I'm just going to use this wad in, peel a bit off, and we'll get to it in just a minute. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean all this up, and then you'll get a good look of it, how it looks when it's finished. You can see how dirty it is, it's stinking. I'm not going to clean the inside, though. I'm only going to clean the outside. And then I'm going to hang it back in the window, and we're going to see, and I'm probably going to increase the price depending on how it looks when it's finished and we'll see how fast it sells and I will obviously put an update on my Facebook page if it sells when polished so it'll be a good little experiment to see now 
on whether or not we should be cleaning our copper and brass for selling it. So it's just simply tear off some of this. Cleaning is simple, nothing needed, simply just the wadding and start rubbing. I'll do it for a minute now just for you can see the little result and then I'm going to shut the camera off and show you it at the end. you got to keep going, it's not going to be a two minute job, this is going to probably take me a couple of hours throughout the day now while it's quiet and I will just put a film on quietly and clean the silver, ah, uh, the brass. So, hopefully this is buffing up nice. Just do it for a minute. And I'm gonna use a wet wipe just to take all the gunk off because I don't want to get it all over my towel. A little buff. And already you can see the difference from that to that in just that little minute. So I'm going to clean the whole thing and we'll see how it looks, guys, all right? Stay tuned to see what happens. Okay, so this is literally going to take me all week. But as you can see, it's already looking a million times better. That's what it looked like before. <laughs> the inside there, it was bogging. As you can see, it has got a nice shine to it, even though it still needs a lot of work. The shop stinks of polish, really does. <laughs> I had a couple of customers come in and say their eyeballs were burning off the, uh, the smell of the um, brass ore. But I'm going to keep going on that. I don't want to um, hold up the film anymore. I want to get one made because I haven't made one for a week or so. So you can see the principle. I don't know whether it's going to benefit me cleaning some brass up. I won't do it to all of it. I do like it having patina. Um, but it is down to personal preference. Dealers tell you all the time, you know, don't clean it, sell it as it is. If you don't know what you're doing, I strongly suggest you leave it alone. Purely because you, you can damage antiques by cleaning them. Certain things need cleaning, others don't. If you know what you need, get it done. If you don't, ask or leave it as it is, guys. That's the best advice I can give. And if you're going to sell it, leave it as it is. Because dealers like myself, whether we're buying silver, brass, copper, bronze, it doesn't matter. We see through the patina, the dirt, the grime. And we'll know whether to clean it or not. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Um, it's going to be an interesting video. I will post, if this sells now, once I finish cleaning it, if it sells pretty quick... I'll put a post up giving the result of the uh, cleanup. Bit of an experiment to find out whether or not it'd be worth cleaning certain things. Because as I say, people are going to want that on display. This is perfect now for Christmas. Fill it with some fl dry flowers or something at the side of a fire. Lovely on display for Christmas. So, And it's been there for a while, but stinking dirty and nobody was interested. So it's got the age. And realistically, it should have had the patina, but um, I'm just curious now as to see if it sells. Now it's nice and clean, and they can see it is brass rather than just brown, dirty, well, minging. So, fingers crossed. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. As I've said, videos are going to be slow for the next month or two months even. Um, I really haven't got a lot of time, but I am making them as and when I can. Guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.